Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do like a weekly vlog. It is currently 5.36 on Wednesday, 22nd of February. Also, he likes my new phone case. So cute. Um, and yeah, I wanted to do just like a weekly vlog. I feel like I will do it Wednesday to Wednesday because on Thursday next week, no, Friday next week, I'm going skiing. So I'm going to take you along for that. Um, this is just a first weekly vlog. I've not got anything really planned for this week. So it might just be kind of basically spend the week doing nothing with me. But yeah, I love watching videos like that. So hope you enjoy. Okay, so it's now half six and I've decided that I'm going to go and get myself a pizza. Um, I'm going to get some garlic. Oh my God, we've got these air fresheners. Let me show you. And they just go off like whenever like, like that and it just goes off like i think it's every like 20 minutes or something and every single time it goes off i always think that it's the door opening and like i know nobody's coming in now so i always think someone's like breaking in and it scares the shit out of me i'm gonna close the door for exact reason but yeah i'm gonna go to tesco now and get myself a pizza I'm back from the shops now. Also, excuse this lighting, I'm in the kitchen and the lighting is... But I'm gonna give you a haul of what I got. This is the pizza of choice. I love it, it tastes like 20 minutes in the oven. But it's great if you've not had these, get them. And then the only reason that I ever really get Domino's pizza is because of the dip, like, if you know, you know. And coal, no. Tesco do this one it's like their own version and it's exactly the same so yeah I've got that I'm gonna treat myself probably put it in I'm just heating the oven up in like 10 minutes and then I'll sit down and watch some uh YouTube and then watch Love Island okay my pizza's almost done let me show you what it looks like this is really making me realise that I need to clean my oven door. Um, I'm also getting torn. Does this headband make me look like a weirdo? Oh. I feel like the pizza's taking longer than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's probably like five minutes left. I think. Um, yeah, I don't know whether this, I'm not really a headband girl, I never have been. But I'm trying it out today. So, what do we think? I did have plaits in it earlier, in the intro vid, but I feel like that maybe is a better look with little plaits, but let me know. I'm completely and utterly defeated by that pizza. I don't know why I do this to myself. Does anyone else do it? It's like, about 10 minutes ago, I knew I was full. I just kept eating. Like, why? Because then it takes the enjoyment out of it as well because I don't know what I'm eating it for because Sam's gonna come home and he'll probably eat it. Like, it's not gonna go to waste. I've got one slice and three quarters left. Let me show you. This is what the situation is looking like. Also, I'm now watching Rich Leary. So if you don't want, if you don't watch her, you need to watch her as well. I've got that. But I just don't know why I do it to myself. Like I just, I know. That I need to stop it, like, and now I just feel sick. 
Good morning. It is quite late actually. I literally got out of bed. It's 10.06. I did say that I was going to have a lie in because Sam got back really late last night. Oh my god, I can't look at my phone. Sam got back really late last night. So I went to bed at like. half 11 and I'm normally asleep by half 10 so I thought I'd give myself an extra hour to wake up but I'm gonna make myself a coffee now quite a few people actually when I posted that I had made just my like morning coffee on my Instagram story the other day loads of people asked for the recipe and I was like didn't realize my coffee recipe would be that in demand so yeah I've got my I'm gonna make my coffee I'm gonna get started with my day Okay, so my coffee recipe is so simple. So I start off by using the Tesco Classic. I think because like, one of my friends said that they don't like this like type of coffee, but I think because this was the first type of coffee that I tried, I'm just like used to it. Right, so I'm doing like a teaspoon and then like that of coffee. And then I do like a teaspoon of demerara sugar as well. I'm not going to do that. Oh no, I need more of this. Okay. So I just put that in a little mug. And then I just pour in the hot water. I feel like people, if you're a proper coffee drinker, you're going to be like screaming at me right now. Um, like literally that amount of water. And then just stir it. Oh, I've got my hair in it. That was disgusting. Just stir and then leave it while I pop out the ice. This top really is like so flattering. In my opinion. Flattering? Is that the right word? Yeah. It's about that much ice. Up to like here. Lovely. I'm gonna add this this vanilla syrup. It's just like I'm pretty sure I just got it from Tesco. And I do about that much. But then just like kind of stir it and taste it. Cheers. I've literally been sat here for way too long not doing the work that I need to do. So currently this is what my task that I'm doing, my assignment looks like. I need to, I want to finish this today. So I'm going to come back to you with it finished today. I'm going to give myself a little, it is 11.57. So yeah, I'm going to get this done now. And I'm going to come back to you with my this part of the assignment finished. Watch this space. Literally exactly three hours. Pretty much. Um, a little bit of procrastination went on, but I got what I wanted to do down. I got all the info down. I just need to then just go through tomorrow and make sure that all my references are correct. But yeah. I'm really proud of myself. That's so silly, but like little wins. I don't know if I showed you but yesterday I ate the pizza. I ate the rest of the pizza. So I don't even have that. Oh I could have had that today if I could lunch. Put on some gym clothes and I'm gonna do a little workout. I'm just gonna do a little ab workout and then hopefully someone will be back from training so workout complete it was good i did the daisy keep sorry i actually like a state i need to no, that's not even better um i did the daisy keach ab workout and then one of her like bum workout leg thing 
Hey guys, it's now Saturday. I didn't film anything yesterday just because I didn't have a great day. Um, but today I've woken up, I started my period yesterday. And you know when you just feel really not good about yourself? So I did my makeup and I've just realized I'm having like a reaction to my makeup. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but like, my face is like burning, so I need to take my makeup off, but, and my makeup, I think it looks horrid anyway, like in person. Like, I literally just wanted to do my makeup to try and make myself feel better, and it's just made me feel so much worse. Like, can you see this bit? Like, it's gone red there, and like there. I do normally have sensitive skin, but I've used, I've used all the products I used today before. So I don't know what's happened. I think it was a setting spray to be honest. I used a setting spray that I sometimes use and as soon as I did it, my face kind of started to sting. But yeah, like my bun looks horrid today. Like, you know, you just have those days and it's just like, ugh, every, you probably look the same as normal, but you feel like you don't. Oh, let me see if it goes, look. Oh my god, my face is so red. Can you see that? Oh my god. <gasps> well, that's just ruined my day. I don't... No, what? I've just watched that clip back and you couldn't really actually see how bad my skin was. So I took a video of it on my phone and showed you, but it's all gone now. It's all like completely back to normal. So I think it really was just a reaction to my setting spray that I put on. But this was, I don't know if you can see if it looks any different. I feel like this whole vlog is just me. Oh, hello. I feel like this whole vlog is just me making coffees. Oh, you know when like the ice just doesn't want to come out and then your fingers get so cold. Oh, water. In it goes. Wow. It's actually quite aesthetically pleasing that one. Cheers. I'm coming to you looking a little bit crazy right now. I'm just baking and I've never baked before actually with my makeup. So I thought might as well try it out. I've got Sunday today, so I'm not doing anything. So yeah, I thought I would just like try makeup out if it doesn't work. If it doesn't look good then that's fine. But it like looks like it's gonna work. Yeah, my coffee this morning didn't take you along with me, so I was... It's the Tommy Fury fight tonight, so... <gasps> so... Yeah, Tommy Fury fight tonight, so fingers crossed he wins. I just really want him to win for Molly, to be honest, because I reckon it's probably absolutely horrible watching fights. Like... I don't like watching boxing, like the only reason I'm watching is because it's Tommy Fury. But I don't like watching boxing, like I would never watch boxing because I don't like the way like it is. So I can't even imagine having your partner doing it. It'd be horrible. But today, this is going to be in a different video, but I'm going to make a chocolate fudge cake. And I'm so excited. I don't have, I don't have any like cake tins. So... I've got like 
pie tin. So I think I'm gonna do it in that. And I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, do you think I should brush off this bake? It's been on for like, I don't know how long you went to do it for. Cause I've got quite dry skin anyway, so. I just went to do that. How's it looking? I don't normally even set my makeup. But I always see like all these really pretty Instagram girls always have like really flawless makeup. I don't know whether it is Facetune or whether it is they're just absolutely beautiful girls, which I think it probably is. And their makeup always looks absolutely stunning. Like, this is a different setting spray, by the way. I'm not using the same one that did that to my face, by the way, in case you were thinking I'm being nuts. Very pleasantly surprised. With the way this has turned out. I might start setting and baking my makeup from now on. I don't know if the contour's a bit severe. Now though, that I've baked it. When I was doing my hair the other day, <laughs> Sam was like, you might want to blend. I was like, oh. I was like, I thought it looked good. Good evening. It is Monday evening right now. Literally like, it's 20 to 11. And for me to be up at 20 to 11, it's just crazy, but do you know why I'm up this late? It's because I've told myself I'm fake tanning tonight and I'm just doing all that I can to put it off because if you fake tan, you will know how much of an effort it, well it's not even an effort, it's an effort thinking about it and then it's an effort like getting into bed when you're like sticky. But yeah, I had a chicken tikka masala tonight for dinner just because when Sam's not in, I, I'm always like, I can't really be bothered to cook something like like a substantial meal, I know that's so bad and I was out today so I didn't make anything but I made, I got a curry from Tesco and normally it's really 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 good but the chicken was just a bit dodge and I'm one of those people that I don't, chicken freaks me out but anyway and it was a bit like chewy and then for like 20 minutes I felt really sick and I just thought oh god am I going to be sick but I was fine, touch wood but I'm on like day four of my period and I'm just emotional. Like I was crying earlier at the thought of doing my fake tan. But then I'm like, I know that I'll feel better and I want to do it. And look at this. I've shown you my eczema, haven't I? I thought it was ringworm, but like it's definitely not. Because then I thought, what the hell? But like it definitely is eczema. I think. But yeah, I've just posted my Bake With Me video. So if you've not watched that, go and watch it. I actually really enjoyed doing it. I'm gonna do way more because I loved doing it. I thought it was so fun. I was so irritable this morning. Just, you know when, like, it's shit, like, girls, you'll understand. Some days, like, sometimes when I'm on my period, it doesn't affect me at all. And you literally, I wouldn't even know. And then sometimes it's like, Christ almighty. I'm not okay and today was one of those days and I've just actually downloaded the Flow app and I know people, when the whole um, Roe versus Wade thing came out in America with the like ab abortion laws, everyone was like you should change, you should delete it but I don't know whether that was for just American girls because abortion is legal in the UK, not that like, I don't really get why that like it do, is to do with Flow but everyone was saying don't use Flow but then I saw those people the other day on TikTok saying like Flow is so good and my sister uses it so I thought I'll get it and it's so cool so look it tells you like when you're expecting your period and then like you put in how you were feeling each day I don't know like if it does anything with it but like you log your symptoms so it tells you so that it says like mood so like on the first day it was mood swings and very self-critical <laughs> and like cramps and there's like Oh, it's not gonna show you, it's not gonna where to see, are you? 
What if I turn my brightness down? Can you see that? Like it's got so many things that you can click on and like log exactly how you're feeling and it tells you like, like it tells me that in March, my period should come on the 27th of March. So I'll update you on that if it does. But I think it's so cool. So every day you like track how you're feeling, which I think is, I mean, it's kind of unnecessary, but it's enjoyable. We are currently on our way to Brighton for a little date day. We came a bit later than we were expecting. It's four o'clock right now, but that's fine. And I went and got the eczema checked at um, the pharmacy and they did say it was ringworm. So I've got a cream for it. And she said that that'll be fine, but I've like put concealer over it because it looked like I had a massive hickey and I thought I didn't really want to be walking around Brighton with what looked like a massive hickey because it's not quite the look I'm going for. But yeah, I've got the most basic bitch possible outfit on today. Yoga hoodie, Zara jacket, jeans, and then just some white trainers and a little slick bun. But that's okay. It's currently actually raining, which is kind of annoying, but we're gonna be inside. And then yeah, we're gonna go to Wagamama's and I looked at the menu earlier and they've got two lots of, wait, which was it? Two lots. Two lots, but one we haven't tried. Yeah. We only got one bar bun when we went to um, the one in Dublin and there's loads of different ones um, apparently on the UK menu or we just didn't get them so I'm going to try them. I feel like I'm really shaky with this but yeah. So I'll take you around and I'll show you any bits in the shops that we see. I was thinking of getting some cute things for my skiing trip but my dad was telling me that the suitcase is pretty much full already and that's literally just with the skiing stuff not even any like excess clothes so he was like you're basically just gonna have to wear what you've got like wear what I wear on the plane out and I was like that's not gonna work dad I don't wanna get some pictures but yeah so gonna have a little look I've not yeah don't really have anything special in mind and then go to Waggers woohoo I don't know how well you can hear me because we're in Wagamama's right now. Didn't have a very successful shopping trip. It was like, I got a couple of things from Primark, but nothing that I really set out to get. Um, but yeah, I didn't really get anything. So I'll show you when we get back. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. I just ordered up here and I'm gonna show you the food when it comes. But yeah. Dinner is all done. Excuse the lighting right now. Someone's got their bright lights on in front. But I didn't really feel much of dinner just because we were having a little cute date night. So I didn't want to just keep getting my camera out. Um, but we're on our way back now and we're going to go past McDonald's and I'm going to get a McFlurry. I don't know what ones. Do you know what ones I've got? Um, I don't know what ones. Maltese or Oreo. What is the special one though? It was celebration, but I don't think it is anymore. Could it be cream egg? I think it might be. It's early. Easter. It might be a little early. Well, yeah, I'm gonna get a McFlurry, potentially an apple pie as well, because I'm going to have one. you're getting apple pie. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna treat Sam to a little McDonald's drive-through because I'm such a nice girlfriend. Can I say order, please? Uh, yeah, could we get um, two apple pies and a Galaxy McFlurry, please? Well, I've never got any McFlurries then. <gasps> uh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you too. I always see what people say that they don't like apple pie. Wow. It's like a really unpopular thing to get at McDonald's. Really? Yeah. Just do it again. Ow! Bye bye. Well, Do you reckon they're just coming to get McDonald's? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They're not going to arrest someone in the drive for are they? You don't know. Very true. I hardly doubt it though. Mm. Yum. Good night. Hey guys, it's now the next day and I'm going to end this video here but I thought before I end it I'm just going to give you a little Primark haul because I said I would. There, there's not much so don't expect much. So first up, I say don't expect much. I love this bag so much. So I got this. It was only £8, £9. I think that is so cute. Like, really love this. 
I actually just filmed a makeup tutorial of this look so if you want to see it subscribe god I cringe myself out when I say that so so was, but yeah it's just got this and to be honest the only reason that I wanted a bag because I've never been a bag girl like these are some of my first bags I've literally bought um but I wanted it because now that I've got a camera I was like I can't really just have my camera in my pocket like in my jean pocket as I normally do with my phone so I thought I'd get bags so that I can take my camera out with me somewhere so I've got you guys in mind when I'm doing this so yeah this is the first one love it so much they had loads I think they had a few different colors of this I think there was like a green which I thought was quite cute like if you had just a basic outfit to add some color and then I've got another bag which is this again so cute I got it more as like a crossbody I know I'm not standing up so you probably can't see but a crossbody bag I think it's really cute like it's small just enough to fit I don't even know if my phone will fit in this bag to be honest um it does my phone fits but I've oh, I've tried my cameras and stuff my camera and they fit in, it fits in both so yeah adorable love it so much and this was this was even cheaper I've taken the tag off this but I think this might have been six pounds seven pounds but this bag I think that is so good I think it's really cute and dainty um and they had this in a few colors as well <laughs> actually a few which were pretty nice as well and then I just got some hairbands so I got I'll just put these in a little pot already but I got some of these nude hairbands and then I got some black ones and realistically like, this should last me my whole lifetime do you know what I mean like when I was buying them Sam was like you already have tons of hairbands I was like yeah but they just go missing they disappear and he always wears a hairband on his wrist like one of my hairbands on his wrist which is so cute and he's had the same one for months but I'm like but you don't use it you don't put it in your hair and then just snap it like I do but I don't like to snap them on purpose but you know what I mean um so yeah I just got some black hairbands they're a pound for like 50 is this 50 60 can't go wrong and then I got some of these because it was kind of an impulse buy just because I thought if I ever need like a clear hairband these are here um oh it's like zip tied shut but 500 pack for a pound like you literally can't go wrong and they've got so many different uses I also think I tie up my belt on my Zara jacket with one of these I could do because I already I have a bit of string but you can kind of see it at the minute so I could just use one of these but yeah that's what I got so I'm just going to end this vlog here I know it was a bit of a rubbish vlog and I'm definitely I'm so sorry for that I'm just getting used to what to film like what is good so yeah sorry if it was a bit boring I don't know how long this is going to be I'm aiming to do like my vlogs are to be like 40 minutes I think just because I love long videos and yeah so like I want to make content that I would enjoy watching because I think that's the most like authentic kind of thing if that makes sense so yeah I really hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog please bear with me just because I am just getting used to it so they might not be as professional as and as interesting as some people you watch but yeah please let me know if you've got any suggestions on what else, what are like other videos you want me to do I don't know why I keep putting these behind my ears like I've got them out for a reason but thank you so much for watching if you have stayed to the end you really are amazing I love you guys see you in my next video bye